We're headed to Brooklyn today to see two apartments. And today my office is reopening after the long holiday break, which means things are always kind of in a state of chaos. And it's supposed to get up to 95 degrees today. And maybe wearing this black shirt was a bad idea. the Crown Heights stop on the four train. Here's how we showed up, and it kind of lets you off in the middle of this busy road. Anyways, the apartment's really close. It looks like we've got a seven minute walk. That's not bad at all. And what's also not bad is all of the stuff you can get your hands on right here by the train. Over here, we got 99 cent pizza. Look at what a bad deal McDonald's is. You can either get two pieces of pizza or a jar of sugar. Is the pizza also all sugar? I'm not a scientist, but I would go with the pizza. The food options here are so funny. You've got the corporate new world order battling it out with superior local options. Over here, we got a little Caribbean bakery. Ooh, look at all the different little flavors. I've been to Jamaica a few times. Jerk chicken, always a fan favorite. Oh, that looks amazing right there. But is it gonna be better than Popeyes? That's a good question. Over here, you got a little juice bar. But if that's not the type of juice you're into, we've got the Juicy King Crab, which I'm assuming serves King Crab. That's a strong assumption, but I think it's accurate. Oh, cool, across the street there, you got a full grocery store. And across from that, you got your local deli slash bong shop. If you're looking for a sugar high or some other kind of high, this place has you covered. Why does every bong have to have a skull on it? What if you want something with like sunshine and rainbows? You know what, they probably have those too. This is interesting. I'm not really sure what kind of business we got going on here. What would they do with me if I turned myself in? Good question. All right, now we're walking towards the apartment. Nice, quiet, tree-lined street. It looks like it's all pretty much residential. That's a good thing. Oh, cool, this is the building. Check that out. Definitely kind of a cool color pattern. And down here at the end of the street, Lincoln Terrace slash Arthur S. Somers Park. The building's like right there, and then here we are. And I can't believe how quiet this is compared to that crazy avenue we were on five minutes ago. Could this be where you get free exercise? I'm sure there's room for you to do push-ups out there and run around in a circle. Not good. Okay, I just did something really stupid. That door's locked. I'm stuck out here on this little courtyard. Let me get this chair, see what's on the other side of this fence back here. All right, so I'm standing on this chair. I'm gonna have to jump over that and like try to get out on the next street. It looks like a little bit of a drop, but if I jump out on the other side, I'm just gonna be in someone's backyard. Am I trespassing? I don't know, I'm trapped. I can't get a hold of anybody. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. I made it. Okay, all right, let's try this again. Not making the same mistake twice. Nice looking roof deck. You can hang out here and way over there. It's a little hazy, but you can see One World Trade way off in the distance. This roof deck's pretty large too. It's the entire top of the building, that's good. That's the courtyard and that's the backyard area I had to escape from. And it looks like someone was even working out. There's even a kettleball. Was it Joe Rogan? Is he your neighbor? And could you hang out with him up here? I feel like there should be laundry or something in the basement. This building's too nice for it not to have it. All right, here we are. Bike storage. Hey, hey, not bad. You got a couple machines and it's in its own room. That's good. This is the first apartment. Wow, look at that view. This is awesome. We're on the sixth floor right now in a one bedroom that is going for 1850. Let me make sure. 
I got that right. If I couldn't remember the gate key, I probably can't remember the rent. Okay, it is 1850. The layout here is great. After you walk in, there's space for shoes and storage, and then everything else is right in a row. Now I'm gonna call this area here the living room. Eight feet, six inches by seven feet, four inches. Put the couch over here, and then across from it, that's where you mount your entertainment center. And next to that, right here, this is a great spot for one of those leaf tables that lifts up and down. Something like that, right across from the kitchen would give you a spot to sit and eat. And since the kitchen here is really nice, that's probably something you're gonna do here. We've got a massive oven, a full-size fridge, dishwasher, and my favorite, the sink sprayer. There's also plenty of cabinet space, and I'm cool with yellow. The bedroom here is also really nice. We've got eight feet, six inches by 11 feet, 10 inches. The view that we've got here is southern facing, so we're gonna get good light most of the day. I put the bed here by the window because that's where the door is. And then against the wall, I'd put storage and probably a home office setup. Now over here past the kitchen, we've got the bathroom, and it's a really big spot. A lot of times a one bedroom or a studio might have a small bath. But just look at the size of this tub. It's really deep. You've also got a big sink, a big mirror, and this mirror also happens to be a medicine cabinet. Remember what all this looks like? Now we're headed downstairs to see the two bedroom, which is 2650. All right, here we are. Let's get some lights on. Ooh, check that out. But wait, there's more. What are we gonna find down here? Whoa, this is cool. 18 feet, eight inches by 14 feet, 10 inches. This is like an entire second apartment below the one upstairs. That looks like there was an entertainment center here. There's a door. This just leads to the bike storage. It looks like there's also a bathroom down here as well. It's a half bath, but it counts. I see some furniture in here too. I guess the prior tenants aren't done moving out yet. Next to the kitchen, this front room, 10 feet, three inches by nine feet, 10 inches. And next to this, this other room, 10 feet, four inches by 10 feet, eight inches. Kind of a bummer. I don't think this place is 100% ready yet because the light's not super bright, but these are both decent sized bedrooms for sure. And they're each nearly identical, which means these two rooms can go for about the same amount. The kitchen here is exactly the same as what we saw upstairs on the sixth floor. Is the bathroom exactly the same? It looks that way. Yeah, this is the same as what we had upstairs in that one bedroom. I can't believe how cheap those two spots were. If you're interested in either, check out the video description for all the agent's contact info. Always wash your hands real good after touching anything in any apartment in New York City. Because unless you live there, you don't know what's been going on. John is here. John hasn't been here in a while and Elvis has entered the building. I'm glad to see that his computer is not aimed at any adult websites because that was why I made him leave in the first place. I'm just kidding. 